Please subscribe to this YouTube channel Mentor Talk and do press bell button for notifications. Recently, I would say just a couple of days back, the Indonesian police have charged four executives working at Indonesian recruitment agencies in connection with the alleged torturing to death of an Indonesian crew member found in a freezer, found in a freezer aboard a Chinese fishing vessel. These Indonesian executives used to hire Indonesian locals for Chinese employers. One 20-year-old Hassan Apriyadi, an Indonesian, died last month on a Chinese ship. Yes. A Chinese supervisor on the Lu Huang uh, Yuan Yu 118 uh, ship vessel has also been booked, charged in Apriyadi's death and for assaulting another Indonesian crew member. Chinese fishing industry is riddled is riddled with forced labor and, ex and exploited workers face, you know, non-payment, overwork, violence and death time and again. Southeast Asia is a major source of such labor and crooked, you know, recruiters aim at the poor and illiterate with assurances of good wages, prospects at the sea. The two Chinese boats were intercepted in the Malacca Strait, which you know, divide, separates Indonesia and Malaysia. After authorities received information that a crew member had died aboard uh, one of the Chinese vessels. Shockingly, the Indonesian crew member's frozen body, yes, Indonesian crew member's frozen body was found in a freezer aboard a Chinese, a Chinese fishing vessel. He was killed by torture by the Chinese employer, yes. The supervisor of the Chinese vessel, a Chinese national, a Song Chuan Yun, was immediately detained, arrested. Apparently, the, de the, the detained Chinese supervisor, uh, Song, had allegedly forced the victim to work despite he being ill. The Indonesian crew member was tortured and deprived of food or water for several days before he died. It is reported that a total of six recruitment agency bosses in Indonesia are facing human trafficking charges, including allegations that, that they lied to Indonesians, uh, you know, with regard to job prospects. They have been misrepresented, these Indonesians, that they would be working as waiters or staff in retail stores in, in China, which was a false statement. This is really horrific. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel Mentor Talk and do press bell button for notifications.